Okay, so here we are in my shed. As you can tell, it's a bit dark. The neighbor's uh, security light is on over there. And the reason we're in here is to take a look at the Phoenix CL30R, which is hanging up there. 650 lumens on high. Da -da -da! Look at that. Lights up the entire shed. It's amazing. It's a brilliant lantern. And this is why I've got it. <coughs> you know, I, I should be able to happily work on my bike here for four and a half hours on high. And I can charge it up. It's uh, rechargeable and it'll also charge up my phone should I need to as it's got a USB out on it. So anyway, that's the Phoenix CL30R. Okay, quickly for comparison, here is the CL25R. Uh, this is the camping lantern from Phoenix. Just looks like I'm holding a massive ball of light. Duncan! But anyway, um, doesn't quite, you know, it looks bright from the camera, but it's, you know, it, I can see in here, I can potter about, but I won't be able to actually repair anything. I'd get a, quite a bit of eye strain. It's, you know, if the light's behind me, I'll be casting quite a shadow sort of thing, so it's really not very, very bright. It's perfect for lighting up a tent in a small area. And you know, it's got the one 18650 lithium ion battery in it, but the real bad boy is that thing there. But anyway, back to the video. This is the CL30R. Um, I always wanted one of these ever since I saw them announce it, and that was quite a while ago. And the reason for that is it's a 600 lumen lantern, and it's perfect for my shed. It's USB rechargeable, uh, it's got three 18650s in it, and it can recharge other devices. So there we go, let's take a closer look at this. Right, so this is the Phoenix CL30R. This is the 20, or 25R. Now obviously they're both uh, similar. This one is a single 18650 lithium ion rechargeable lantern. There we go. The battery cap is also it's a magnet and tripod mount, so you can magnetically stick it uh, to the wall, or you know, under your bonnet of your car, or wherever you want to stick it. This metal. I actually stick this to the side of my fridge um, because if the lights go out for whatever reason, um, or I could just grab it to go outside. So there we go. Got a couple of modes for this one. So double press to get in and out of the red flashy modes. Perfect for camping this one, really compact. And yeah, I was originally using this one in my shed. Nice, you know, bright enough to uh, light up the shed, but it quickly dropped out of its boost mode, um, which is a, a shame, because it's only got one 18650 battery in it. And then that's where this bad boy comes in. We have a power gauge here on the top. We've got four little green dots there. In the top, it holds three 18650 lithium ions. These are Phoenix's own batteries. There we go. And obviously, we've got a hook on top there, um, or a loop there, so you can hook it up. There's a little locating pin here, you see, because that rotates there, so that just helps lock it into place. And then you screw it down. Right. There's your tripod mount. Should you need a tripod for whatever reason. Very useful actually. I was working out on the uh, on my shed at the end of last year and um, considering it gets dark here at around 4.30 in the middle of winter um, and I was trying to work on the shed and I was actually working out there until about 7 o'clock at night I found this lantern uh, really really useful for lighting up um, the work area okay so that's it now let's have a look at the charging port 
That is uh, your micro USB for charging. When it's charging, these little green lights flash away. And this is your USB port so you can plug anything in to charge it. Don't really have anything to put on charge at the moment because it's all being used here for recording. Um, you need to wake it up first, so I'll press. There we go. Battery cap wasn't screwed down enough. So I don't have anything to put on charge at the moment. So there we go, I'll just show you this uh, little light works. But anyway, back to the lantern. We got plenty of modes there. And let's have a look at the run times. So there we go, that's turbo mode, that's 650 lumen output. You'll get four and a half hour runtime, up to six hour runtime, depending on what um, milliamp hour batteries you use. And you can go all the way down to a 10 lumen eco mode, which is uh, 300 hours or 400 hours, again, depending on the batteries. There's also a flashing mode, should you need it. There's no red light mode on this one. Typical Phoenix, it's water resistant to IPX7. It's got a one meter impact resistance. And uh, yeah, it's a very nice, strong lantern. Not cheap, it's around the 70 pound mark. But I mean, the, the 318650 batteries are in here are around 10 pounds a piece anyway. And it's an incredibly durable unit that should last you a very, very long time. I'm really, really pleased that Phoenix managed to give me this for review. So there we go, I'm really happy with this light. It's a very, very decent unit, strong, durable, uh, probably very good to take camping because when, when you do go away for the weekend, you can also charge your phone up from it. And um, it'll probably be quite nice just to stick a nice big tripod mount right under there and stick it in the middle of your campsite. You'll be able to light up the entire campsite. There we go, that's the CL30R from Phoenix. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. It helps this channel grow. And I will see you next time.